Good morning, everybody. How are you today? This lovely sunny Saturday morning in January. Um, quick thing I have to say is please do not click any links on anything that you see here. If it's not from the artery, myself or Jackie, just ignore it. We're trying to ban them and we're trying to control it as much as we can. We seem to be hit um, heavily by spam at the moment. Um, and it, we're really sorry about that. There's not a lot we can do because this is a, a, a public page. Um, so we are doing what we can to get rid of all of the spam um, that uh, we find. So apologies about that. Good morning. So let me just say the good morning. The good, the good morning. It's 111 of you so far. Um, good morning, Sue. Good morning, Rosemary. Good morning, Marie. Good Maria. Good morning. Um, Melanie, good morning, Heidi, good morning, Christine, good morning, Wendy, good morning, Mary, good morning, Laura, hi, Sarah, morning, Diana, hello, Hilary, Borda, Chidichi, wonderful, excellent, okay, please, again, a reminder, click nothing, um, we are struggling with, um, we are inundated, with uh with spam and there's not a lot i can do about it at the minute good morning leona good morning vicky how lovely to have so many of you here and willing to oh let's get a bit of birds on gone now hopefully i have to say i hope this isn't too loud for you the bird song um my laptop broke during the start of a class yesterday and um unfortunately um morning christine good morning norma hi trish um hi sue hi juliet um hi Anne. hi mandy hi lizzie thank you rosemary hi debbie i know jackie's on it as well and i'm trying to plan it hi heather hi louise hi marilyn hi joe hi sarah <coughs> Hi, Melanie. Hello. I'm trying to catch up with everyone. Hello, Louise. Morning, Sharon. Hi, Kathy. I know it's annoying. Um, we've had it the last couple of times. Good morning, Emily, from Australia. 9 p.m. in the evening. Wow. Um, I don't know why you keep spamming us. Those of you that are spamming us, um, please, can you stop? 124 of you so far. It's lovely to join us. Hi, Diana. Hi, Diane. Um, hi, Maria. Thank you for asking. It's almost back to normal. I've, I've really done as I've told, apart from one naughty episode where I tried to do the vacuuming. Um, and uh, thank you, Juliet, for that. Yeah, hover over if you're on your mobile, report, comment on the spam and uh, then choose to block the spammer. We're also trying to ban them from our page as we uh, as we go through. Um, hi, Helen. Hello, Angela. So uh, the, the one problem about doing popular uh, popular demos and classes is that you do get the spammers, un unfortunately. Morning, Mary. Morning, Priscilla from Port Elizabeth. Wow. Hi, Steve. Hi, Nikki. Eastern States of Australia. Wow. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Melanie. It is. It's beautiful. Um, we actually had a little bit of snow here in North Oxfordshire last night, uh, which has now turned into thick ice. So um, that's fun. Sadly, well, not sadly, I'm stuck in the warm indoors, so that's fine. I'm, I'm chatting to all of you lot. Hello, Caroline. Um, don't worry, I, I'll explain everything and we'll talk through. A lot of these lessons you can either paint along or draw along or write along, as, as we are today, or you can watch the, the lesson uh, and this will stay in our video section on our page for Ever. So um, at the end, as soon as I end the lesson or end the video stream, all that will happen is, um, hi Joe, hi Brenda, it is pretty. Um, all that will happen is that it will uh, take a couple of seconds, maybe a minute. And then if you head to our main Facebook page, which you're watching on now, and then go to um, the videos tab, uh, you'll find it there. Oh, thank you very much. Good morning, Connie. Snow in Cov? Well, no, I've not ventured out yet because, as I was saying, have to have a big shout out 
I don't normally do shout outs, but big shout out to Curry's PC World. My laptop broke um, during my lesson I was trying to teach yesterday afternoon, so I couldn't I, I couldn't teach. Um, quickly ordered one next day delivery. It was here. A new laptop was here by 9.30 this morning. Um, and um, all, all they need to do is go to the main Facebook page, the Art Tree Art Shop and Classes, and basically the video should be there and all they have to do is join um hi elizabeth no 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 you just you just watch on facebook that's all you need to do like you're doing now and then morning bob so all you need to do is just go to our shop's facebook page um you don't even need to be on facebook for you have a facebook account to, to watch our videos and and uh, demonstrations on on the shop's facebook page so um that's all you need to do is just head to that and go to the video section. So I want to talk to you about brush lettering. It's it's taken over massively. <clears throat> We're here till half twelve, so we've got loads of time to chat and discuss. If you've got any questions, I, I'm actually able to read your comments, which is amazing. And um, hopefully you can hear me all right as well. Um, and I've, I've got an extra camera here um, that uh, may help if I can remember how to operate all of the gadgetry um hi michelle morning jan um and it is national handwriting today so happy national handwriting day um yeah brush brush lettering is beautiful now um i've done a lot of calligraphy it's all right celia just stand at the back and face the corner for being late <laughs> morning sue lovely to have you with us celia anyway thank you you're not that late i've only waffled um oh you're in Northwich. I, I, we're friends with Northwich Art Shop, and um, and uh, I, I've noticed how um, half of your town's underwater, isn't it? Half of your town centre. How awful! I, I really feel for you uh, further up north. You're really struggling with the flooding at the moment. Um, really, really bad. Um, no definitely no link for bank details we don't ask for bank details all you need to do is just go to the artery art shop um and um access the uh access the videos we don't ask for any money on these free classes at all um we do it to try and keep your creativity topped up so um yeah so when i used to do a lot of calligraphy for weddings and things um the, the main writing style that everybody would want me to do invites or table plans and all of that kind of thing for were um uh, copper plate you know like edwardian script if you think of microsoft works um word edwardian script that's almost like copper plate um, and i had to do that but in the last five six years it's moved from traditional victorian copper plate to modern brush lettering now what's great about brush lettering is it's intentionally wonky. It's good, isn't it? You haven't got to have perfectly straight lines. Um, the only thing, right, the only thing that's that, that's a tricky bit, um, yes, it's Phil. Oh, bless him. Thank you. Thanks, Phil. Um, you see, this is the thing, us Indies, we're all, we're all pals. We, we're not in competition. We're all friends. Um, all the art shops. And um, the only issue is if you're writing something and you do, let's say you make your letter S go below the line. Every time you write that letter S on that one sheet or card or page, um, all you need to do is make sure that it all falls below the line. Don't have one letter above and then the same time you do that letter to go below it's not that kind of wonky there is has to be a, a sustainable uh, way of doing it but brush lettering is really really taken over and you can use a paintbrush um and some people find it easier there are lots of um lots of different types of pen and it's a bit tricky and i'm going to talk to you through as as we do with all of these uh, lessons and demos is i try to explain as much as i can to you about products that are out there yes we do sell the products but there is absolutely no pressure to buy hello judy um and i'm certainly not going to be posting any links 
on here today um, to confuse anybody with the spamming that's been going on. And, and once again, apologies about the spam. Uh, we're a public page, so we, we can't really control it other than keep trying to bomb them. We do every single time. Um, so there are quite a few brush pens out on the market. And what I think you need to be aware of is when, I mean, you might have seen people do brush pen demos on Instagram or YouTube. And sometimes it can be a mis bit, bit misleading. Um, because you don't realise how big the writing is. There are very few brush pen pens that enable you to do normal size handwriting. And I'll talk you through all of it, so don't worry. Um, I, if if we have some in stock, no spam for you. No, absolutely. Um, I don't mind a bit of spam, spam fritters. Mm. Um, so I'll talk you through everything. So with a brush pen, basically, Oh, absolutely. Oh, oh, well, I'm glad you've had your first jab, um, Diane. That's really great. And yes, have a relax and watch me wield a pen. Um, these are Echoline. I used to call them Echoline, but it sounds a bit like a, an illness. So I, it, it's actually called Echoline. Um, and um, a quill and ink. Oh, get you michelle yeah that's good um now this brush pen there you go look a brush pen it is a brush oh now i'm gone i'm gonna get filthy um it's a fiber tip but can you see there's a bit of flexibility in it good morning mrs riley um there is a bit of flexibility to it so that's really great but because it's quite a big tip you can only do decent big letters so each letter would have to be about two to three inches and as i say this is what's quite misleading when you're watching a lot of these brush pen demos you don't realize how massive a lot of the writing is um, and and then you'll buy them and then you'll try to do your normal handwriting size and it won't work and then you'll get frustrated and you'll think it's you but it isn't you it's all to do with the size of the pen there is also the lyra aqua brush um and that's quite interesting you've got one end a little bullet point um pen for outlining and things and the other end you've got a longer pen but it's slightly less flexible so you don't have to have as big a writing and and it is all personal choice lovely multicolored fingers um it is very much personal choice in what you do when i've done um uh, brush pen lettering classes in real life back in the days when we could actually meet face to face um i would get uh, all of the students to try out various different um types of pen and some would prefer others some would prefer a different make um some would prefer the old-fashioned dip pen um it does make a difference um if you're a very heavy-handed person top tip go for a stiffer um a stiffer tip if you know what i mean um because if you're too heavy-handed and you've got a very soft tip you're just going to press down and it's going to get harder then there is this that's out now and this is our best seller it's by unipin and and they do a lot of um liner pens and um in different sizes for, for artists that want to outline or do cartooning or illustration and all of that kind of thing. And and then a few years ago, they started to bring out um, a brush pen, but very fine. So this would enable you to do normal handwriting. And we've got plenty of these in stock. Um, if you head to our website, you'll, you'll be able to work it out if you want to get one. They're about £2.45 each, but they are waterproof fade proof pigmented ink um and they come in black they also come in sepia light gray and dark gray um unipit they are they're an amazing brand and they're one of the most affordable brands but look at the size of that brush pen and i'll use all of them so you can see how how it works um i i think they're brilliant we've we've actually got um a caricaturist that lives locally and um He's called Sassy Steve, and he he buys boxes of these because they're absolutely amazing pens. 
Um, wonderful. Uh, great quality, last forever. Liner pens are good. We use them for, for a lot of ink classes and, and what have you. Um, the one that I'm showing now is the uh, Unipin Fine Line Brush Pen. So on our website, if you were going to um, uh, support us, um, you could um, indeed scroll to the Unipin section and in the drop down menu, you'll find the black brush in there. And you could just buy one with free postage as well. So free postage and packaging to the whole of the U mainland UK. So if you want to just buy a pen, you can just buy a pen and it won't cost you any more than the price that's there. Um, and I, I really can't remember. I think it's about two to three pounds and um, free postage, free packaging, a pen, no problem. Um, we're trying to help you all through the pandemic um as much as you as, as much as we can creatively and and in terms of buying your supplies because um we, we don't want to charge loads of postage and, and packaging on top and, and make life more difficult so um yeah if you want to buy just that pen you can just order it um i haven't got any of i think we've got just a couple of brush pen sets in by a different make i've just seen a question about tombow and stadler it all depends try them both christine um and uh, try them both and see what you feel. I'm, I'm going to try and switch to the next camera in a second. Let me have a sweet tea. It's like my mug. My sister bought it me years ago because I love baked beans. And it's a Heinz baked bean mug. Yes, I know, Juliet. Free postage. Um, we've been doing free postage um, for nearly a year now uh, since, uh, since the pandemic started. Right, let me switch to another camera. If I can find the right button. Um, so the, the main fundamentals of brush pen calligraphy are pressure, is pressure, are pressure, is pressure. We try, we try to be nice, best as we can <laughs> under the circumstances. So where you want a thin line, and this is where it gets tricky, where you want a thin line if, if I move over this end, so you can see it a bit more. You don't put any pressure on. So I'm using the Echo Lean uh, brush pen at the moment. So a thin line, no pressure. A thick line, some pressure. A really thick line, loads of pressure. I've, I'm only using this bit so you can just see the the, the, the different pressure on the pen. Um, oh, yeah, good one. Thank you for asking. I am using, um, let me switch cameras very quickly. I'm using the Dale Rowney A4 marker paper. Um, it's bleed free. You get 50 sheets for about seven, eight pounds. Um, and again, don't look for the image. I think the image is missing off our, our online shop. But we've got a couple in stock and um, free postage again, bleed proof acid free you can use it for all sorts of things um and um you can use it for pen and what have you but it worked really really well for um for calligraphy and and it's semi-transparent so if you need to put guide sheets underneath guidelines you can do that so if you have a look at um that pen there it really does depend on the pressure. So you can see I can, if I go really heavy, look at the different thicknesses of line depending on the pressure that I use. So I could probably go really thin with that one. So that's Echo Lean. And they come in loads of different colours. Oh, yeah, it's perfect for dip pen calligraphy, Christine. Because um, we do a monthly calligraphy class on the... Oh, Second Saturday of every month, we do a calligraphy class. It's five pounds online um, through a closed Facebook group. And we do different um, uh, different topics, different types of writing styles every every month. So uh, this month, we did Roman capitals. Next month, we're doing Carolingian. In March, Gothic, which is Black Letter or Ye Olde Worldy. In April, Half Unt Seal. In May, Copper Plate. And June, we're going to look at how to do borders, banners and scrolls and lay out the words. Um, sometimes we do topics, sometimes we do, um, you know, like crafty makes. We made a little um, gallery book for Christmas 
um, during our, our class. So, yeah, the second Saturday of every month is our, our calligraphy class online, and um, they are just five pounds. So, if I try the Lyra one next, so you can see the difference with that one. And you're right, that camera, that camera is a bit blurred, so I'll have to work that out. I, I literally had 40 minutes this after, this morning to try and set up a whole new laptop get it ready for the lesson this morning um so i can i can give you all the bells and whistles um in in the same way that you're accustomed to so let's do the same sort of thing again i can get a slightly thinner line with the lyra aqua brush duo because it's not as flexible i won't be able to get really thick lines okay so massive letters Echoline, slightly smaller letters, Aqua Brush Duo Lyra, and then I'll show you the um, the Uni Pin, much smaller. You know what? Let's do it under here. So that gives you um, a much more fluid handwriting way of, of working so i'll go through all of the letters and everything anyway but yeah this um this marker paper is totally bleed proof um so you don't get the little spidery bits on as long as you use the top side if you use the underside it's not coated in the same way um and, and marker paper is absolutely wonderful um, yeah, uh, Jackie's just answering the questions as well that I'm missing. Sorry. Thank you, Jackie, for that. You're an absolute star. Yes, Linda. A mixed media paper could well work. Um, basically, what I find is when anybody's learning calligraphy, you tend to linger longer because you're not sure where to go. So you'll sort of start with a letter and then you're looking at the reference. So your pen's poised and stuck and then you move up and down. Whereas what will happen um, in some papers with an open weave, you'll get little shoots and spiders of ink uh, scrolling along the page, whereas in um, really smooth, uh, once you've got really um, competent um, with uh, calligraphy, you can move, and, and you want to do more designs and artwork, you can move from this um, marker paper to Bristol board, uh, which is a really tight weave, heavyweight card, um, brilliant for illustrators and calligraphers and designers and all of that kind of thing, cartoonists. And um, I'm going to move that out of the way because I might get a bit more vigorous with, with my elbows. And um, so, yeah, Bristol board's good, but it's more expensive uh, for practice. This is this is quite nice practice paper because it's fairly inexpensive. I'll show you that you can see through it just about. Well, it doesn't show up on here. Let me try black ink. Let me try this. There you go. You can, if you can just about see that, then through a camera um, two feet away, then you know that you can see through it for line guides and what have you. I hope you're finding this informative so far. 159 of you. Hello, you all crept in quietly, didn't you? Uh, how lovely to have you joining me today. Happy National Handwriting Day. It really is lovely to have your company. It really is. So we'll have a look through letters. And if there are any names that you are specifically asking me to do, I will try and do them. Uh, but bear in mind, the comments scroll up the screen quite quickly because there's quite a lot of you. So I might miss some. So I do apologise if I do. So it's all about pressure when you work. So this is the Echoline one. And... Um, you might find you want to go slower. Um, tracing paper, yes, that should work because it's basically any paper that's a tight weave. So if it feels really smooth, that'll be the good one to go for. Um, if it's too much of an open weave, you will get a little bit of spidering. Um, and the bigger the weave, the bigger the spider. So just just bear that in mind. I mean, any paper, printer paper will work, um, photocopy paper kind of stuff. Um, but it will it is prone to spidering and definitely not for dip pens. You see, with a dip pen, hang on a second. Let me uh, 
I will definitely have a go at that in a minute. I will remember that. I'll, I'll show you some letters in a second. And then um, I'll do some full name. See, if you were going to do this in um, a dip pen or quill, you'd want what's known as a, a registry nib, a registrar's nib, or drawing nib, or a post office nib. So can you see that that's quite a sharp point? As opposed to um, italic nibs. That's me just rummaging in my calligraphy box. Um, can you see the difference? Oh, Celia, you can come again. Thank you. Um, so the difference is that the italic nibs are good for doing, well, italics, Carolingian, old letter, gothic, um, all that kind of stuff. But for copper plate and brush pen and a few others, you want the post office nib or the drawing nib because you can add more flexibility and splay the bristles. However, on textured paper, when you go up with a sharp pointed nib, there is every chance that the nib's going to jab in the paper and then you'll spatter the ink in a beautiful way all over your dining table. Uh, which is not good. So the smoother the paper, the more fluid the pen can ride. Although in many styles you don't like to go upwards, but in brush pen calligraphy you do. I will do a bit with the brush. Interestingly, I did a um, I did a, an evening brush pen calligraphy class, and it was full of brides and their mums who wanted to learn brush pen calligraphy to do their wedding invitations because it looks easy. Looks are deceptive. Um, and there was one lady on there that was quite quite heavy handed, and she could not work a brush pen because it was too soft. So all of her lines were thick and heavy, but because there's less resistance with a, a solid metal nib, you really have to um, go some with the pressure to get a thicker line. So I've just got a little reservoir on the back. Um, we do have these on our online shop. The The barrels are about 2 95 The nibs, I think, are £2. And the reservoir on the back, which holds the ink, just clips on. Um, then that, that's about 55p. Can you put the cheat on the right as a reference sheet? Which, which cheat? Um, oh, I have. Um, if if you this one, you mean to print off? Yes, Sarah. If you go to the event for this uh, for this lesson, if you go to this event, um, you'll find that we've posted a comment in there as uh, with that as an image, so you can download that and print it off. You can. Um, Oh, I will definitely do that. I've, I've seen so there's a couple of letters, a couple of names there that I'll, I'll go through with you. Um, I'll show you basic letters and shapes as well. I know I'm waffling a lot, but I think it's really important to understand this. What I see on a daily basis is there are a lot of people trying so many things and a lot of professional artists that don't understand the materials that they've got or the capabilities or how they work. And I think it's really important to be able to understand everything that you use. Um, Zoltan? Zoltan the puppy, Leona. Oh, what um, what, what sort of, what sort of a, a puppy is that, Leona? Yeah, I will. Let me scroll through this and um, what I should do, let me quickly sketch and write down the names that you're all asking me to do. We'll hear the bong. Well, let's grab an envelope. Right, we've got Zoltan. Cherish. Ruth. Did I see Emily? Angela. So I'll show you how to do this. Um, ooh, I've got a few friends with the Vieslers. Lovely. Um, yeah, the, the difference is, okay, so 
Um, because I'm very vintage. My house is very vintage. Um, here, hence you can probably hear the ticking clock. Um, and um, I have 1940s um fountain pens. Amelia. I'll try and get as many as we can. Tiana, Diana. Right, I'll have to, I'll say stop for now, Christine. Chrissy. Right, if we stop with the requests for a bit, then it will make me, because um, there's quite a few here already. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. Um, the old fashioned 1940s dip pen. Well, they weren't dip pens, they were fountain pens. You know, the ones with the plungers that you can suck the ink up with? They had a much longer nib. Whereas what you'll find with like Parker pen and stuff, they, they have a very short nib. So, what I mean by that is this bit, but just the bit the way my finger is, is a lot shorter. And because it's shorter, you don't have. 165 of yellow um because it's shorter you don't have the flexibility of of the length of um thick and thin lines but i'll do that anyway right so for just how to do the letters and things as i say it's pressure so um i'll, I'll quickly just do an l no pressure Curl it round, lots of pressure, no pressure, lots of pressure, no pressure. So just as a way of noticing, look at the size. Now I'm five foot 11. You can see the size of my hand. Look at the size of that letter. It's where it's deceptive because if you were just seeing the zooming in of the pen and the nib, which I've seen on Instagram a lot, you could think that's normal handwriting size. Um, but it's not. Um, it's a lot bigger, but hopefully it will help me and it will help you if I talk to you about when I'm putting pressure on. Now, if you are heavy handed, Nothing with that. Lean on your wrist. So put lean on your hand. Put your wrist on your hand like that. So put your hand out and lean on it. And what that will do is it takes the pressure off the pen. If you're just run loose with your pen and you're heavy handed, you're going to get thick lines no matter what you do. But if you can lean on your wrist with your hand, you it stops the pressure and it gives you much thinner thinner lines so where brush pens calligraphy is tricky is that it looks very fluid and when you get into it i will see what i can do um june and maria as well um when you get into it you can make it fluid but when you're learning don't try to make it fluid um there are there are several options you can do because it's supposed to be all joined up um, you can do the letters individually, then quickly link them together while you're learning, or just go slowly. You're not in a race. It's all right. No one's going to time you to do a place card or a greeting card. Um, so, for example, the M, no pressure, pressure, no pressure, pressure, no pressure, pressure. No pressure. And the M's, the capital M, you can make really wonky. Let's go, let's do another version. No pressure, pressure. No pressure, pressure. No pressure, pressure, flick. 
lower or upper, it doesn't matter. So, like I was saying at the beginning, I say so a lot, don't I? Um, like I was saying at the beginning, if I do a capital M like that on a card or on um, a scroll, whatever you want to do it on, if I have another capital M on the same thing, I've got to make sure that the left hand part is taller than the lower part. I wouldn't, I couldn't change it because it would look like I didn't know what I was doing. So keep it as a constant for that one thing. Change it again when you do it a, a, a different thing. But again, where the M's are repetitious in the same thing, then make sure you um, Do you know, and it's really sad, Liz, you're, you're correct. It's always a bit more difficult for left-handed people um, with calligraphy in general. I mean, with the um, with the italic nibs, you can get a left-handed italic nib, but that won't help for something like this. Um, let me try. I, I, I'm a little amb ambidextrous, um, only a little. It's possible. If you notice mine slightly on a on a wonky line, my L. It's not as fluid because I'm a bit shaky with my left hand. I haven't had much practice writing left-handed for a while. Um, to be honest, <clears throat> if I change mine, it would look like yours. I bet it would. Um, it, it it shouldn't be um, because. Basically, when you do normal handwriting, you're smudging across, aren't you? But with brush pen, if you take your time and form each letter, it is all to it is all to do with your pen grip. Um, because I didn't have any, I, I held my hand quite high up with that. Um, so yeah, it does make a it does make a difference. But again, it's how you hold the pen. So I know some left-handed people that will write like that. Um, it's it's all about the practice and find what's comfortable for you to do um and and that kind of thing now if you look at the lowercase i do need to discuss the lowercase because there's uh, there's a few differences in there to what you may be used to um good question um oh there well, you go there you go thank you alice and you can have a look at um Tanya loves lettering on Instagram, um, who's a lefty. Um, how hard do you know? How do you know where to press hard and light? Basically, then, um, Linda, your, your the bits that um yes, I will. The the printable sheet is in this event. So if you go, you might need to set up a new tab or wait until afterwards or, or whatever. If you go into this event itself, um, there is a comment in there from us that said um you might want to print this off and it's that one but i can post it again i can't post in 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 a live um uh in a i can't post images in a live uh, in a live feed unfortunately um when you look at um if you think of it a bit like knitting uh, casting on and casting off so if you've got um a lowercase a for example you're going to want a thin line to cast on you want pressure for the word, and then as you move into the next bit, you cast on, and then you cast off. So basically, your upward strokes are generally thinner, your downward strokes are thicker, and that makes it a little bit easier um, to, to remember. So if, if all your upward strokes, like with the L, Hardly any pressure going up. As we come down, we're thicker. And then we're thicker and then we taper away. So if you think of all the things that join the letters are thin lines. All the way. And if you look as well, even, even with like the, the B, the capital B. Thin, thick. Thin, thick. Thick, thin. So it's kind of it's kind of like that. I hope that helps. 
because it is hard. Um, it is hard. I just need to check who was it? Who was it? Linda, was it you that asked about? Um, yes, it was good. So with the lowercase letters, the bit that's tricky is um, where it's um, the lowercase letters change. So, you know, you might be used to doing the B like that, whereas in some forms, and again, with all calligraphy, all calligraphy means beautiful handwriting. It comes from the Greek kalos graphe, um, beautiful kalos graphe writing. Um, so it's it's sort of just beautifully written. So there's no right or wrong with it. And and if you if you search British pen calligraphy letters on Google or any other uh, internet provider uh, is available, um, you would find about twenty to forty different types of brush lettering, and each one would have slightly different letter shapes and formations. And at the end of the day, it's whatever goes right for you. There are some calligraphers that are very strict with angles and letter weight um, and all of that kind of thing. Um, but I want it to look naturally. If I want it to look like a printable font, I've actually got several printable fonts on, on my uh, uh, Microsoft packages that I can use that look like brush pen calligraphy. I've, I've purchased them uh, for when I'm doing posters and things uh, digitally. Um, so if I'm doing it by hand, I want it to look like it's done by hand. Uh, yeah, I think anybody that's used actual fountain pens will find it a bit easier. So the lowercase b is a thin line up, a loop, a thick line down, a thin line up, and then you cast off a bit like that. Um, you could add a bit of pressure in there, or you could add it a bit later if you wanted to. Um, but I, you see, I was at school in the 80s, and at primary school, uh, we were just taught to use a colouring pencil for a capital letter and a full stop. Um, we weren't lit we weren't actually taught proper letter formations, but I've always been my 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 great uncle Tony. He did the most beautiful italics, and um, any anything from him was always written in italics, so it's sort of, uh, ingrained into my psyche. So the B is slightly like an F, actually. If you think of how you'd write an F, but you just squish it, and the one that always catches everybody out, and it does depend on your age. Sorry. Um, is the R. In a lowercase R in brush lettering and in copper plate, it's that shape. Now, I, that's my normal handwriting R. Um, it's very different to the way that most people use an R or will join um, two R's together. With this one, you're doing it like that. So it can look a bit like an N. So it's really important to have that thin line, as thin as you can, down. Because an N, lowercase, is thick, thick. So can you see the weight of the letters? It's, it's a really old um, Victorian R, Linda. It was used a lot in um, copper plate and um, Spencerian script and all of that kind of thing. And uh, it works really nice. However, it does mean if you've not used that R, because my name is Barry, I am um, Yeah, absolutely, Christine. I will I'm explaining. I'll we're here for 45 minutes more, so absolutely I'll do what I can. So I had a teacher that called me Barney for a year because she couldn't read the joined up writing that the previous teacher wrote. So it looked like R-N-Y rather than two R's. I answered to it, um, obviously. Um, so that's how the R works joining in. So if it's from another letter, um, 
I will, Louise. I will show you an F as well. Um, capital or lowercase, I'll do both. Good. I'm glad, Marie. That's right. it's, it's all about enjoying yourself. It's tapping into creativity. Um, I, I once taught a boy a long, long time ago. Um, we used to do art classes, but his handwriting was really, really bad, and the, and the school was struggling to, to understand what he was writing. And um, he's in his 20s now, I think. Uh, and uh, Christopher. And uh, so because he was really interested in art, I taught him calligraphy. So he could see each letter as an art form rather than a thing that he had to do. Um, and his writing came on a, a treat. It was wonderful to see the progression. Um, so um, if I was going to write, I don't know. Um, um, right. I'll mark that, Susie, and I'll come back to you with the Z. Um, so if I was going to write born, uh, thin line, thick line, thin line, loop, oh, thick loop, that's where the R comes in, and then we've got our N. So you can see that the, the thin bit is there and there where it attaches. Absolutely, Jill. This will be here. An E to an R, okay? Um, I'll write the word after, because that will show you, Louise, how to do the F as well. Um, so we'll cast on, thick line, thin, thick line, thin line up, thick line down, thin line swirl like that loop for the t thick line thin line e thin line r then you can really go to town with the bar across the t what well you know um I've forgotten who, who it was that said um, letters are, calligraphy is art, isn't it? It's beautiful writing and, and it's it's very informative. So we've done the E. Um, Susie, um, struggling with the Z, do a number three. Because the lowercase Z is basically a three with a tail. R and I, it is hard uh, because with the F, you're sort of like going up, down, up, across. Um, I and R, in what order? Oh, for your name, I presume, Maria. It's not on my list to do. Let me do it now. Let me do Maria now. Thanks. Thanks. You're all so nice, aren't you? Oh, you can all come again when I do something else. I'll let you in. Right, let me do your name, Maria. Yes, Manjeet, the F, the lowercase f is I'll do it really big. And I'll do it in stages. So you cast on at an angle. As you loop round, you press down hard. And you press down hard. And then as you get to the bottom of the F shape, you loop up with less pressure. Add a bit more pressure as you loop through the where it crosses and then you cast off. It's like a knot, isn't it? I'll do that again. Cast on, loop up, press down. Go thin as you come round and off again. Again, that's a very different F. In calligraphy, you'd have an F that's more like that, but it's not fluid. It's all about the fluidity and the swirliness of it all and um, and that kind of thing. So I hope you find, are you finding this useful? There's 146 of you because I know a few people will be dipping in and dipping out and then they'll probably, you know, you've all got lives. I do realise that not the whole world does not revolve around me. Um, why not? Um, 
And, uh, uh, but as this is going to be saved, um, well, it's, it's always how I've thought about it with, with copper plate and, um, brush lettering where you've got thick thin lines i do think of it more like littering with cast on cast off as, as thick and thin um and loops as well good i'm glad um hopefully that z works i'll show you a capital s no, s an f um because that's a bit the the f and the t are the same almost and it's where you cast on with a thin line and then as you go across you want more pressure as you loop round, you want less pressure and you come down and swirl like that. So that is a capital T, almost. To make it an F, you just do a wonky line like that. So frog, would look something like that. <clears throat> good i'm glad you're finding it useful judy um I, I think it's important to just understand it isn't it and, it and the whole um the whole weight of the pen is is really um really important i'll do a knee for you as well um how do you join an a to an r so it'd be r a like ran for example sarah um we'll go so we'll cast on Hardly any pressure. Don't forget, if you struggle, lean on your wrist. Takes the pressure off. Right, so we'll do our R like so. Now, the R is the one letter that you can drop below the line just to make it quirky. Then would come the A. Then would come... The N. Um, you could turn that into sort of ran. Um, um, it should be in the event. I, what I'll do after this finishes, uh, because I can't, um, I can comment on um, on a live, but I can't post images. I can't post um, pictures and stuff. So what I'll do is as soon as this demonstration ends, I will also post the image of the brush letter letters in this demo. So you'll be able, and if I pin it to the top, I think I can do that. I'll be able to, um, uh, you'll be able to, to grab it, save it and print it off. There was another one, um, E, a lowercase E. I do in I do it in a slightly different way. So I'll cast on, then go that way. So if you notice what I do is I go up, then across. I don't just go like that. Because that to me is more like a, a loop. So I'll go cast on, stop, go across thick line off and what i'll do because we've got just over half an hour i'll um i'll do um i'll do all of those names that you all asked me to do um and i've got to add i'm going to add maria to that because that's um an interesting one She's in the back of an envelope that's how classy i am um so show you an s in the middle of the word oh yes i will i'll show you an s I'll just move over here. Um, the S is a is a funny one because as as the S comes up, you're casting on, swirling round, lower pressure, cast off. So it's it's a little bit weird. Um, and again, the S is um, new page. The S is uh, below the line. So if I was going to write the word grass. As you do. Um, it is a nice way of doing an E. No, you haven't, Maria, because I'm going to do your name in a minute as, as your name. So that will show you the R and the I together. Um, so I'll do a capital G. 
So no pressure as I swirl round and down, more pressure. Off pressure. On pressure. Off pressure. And I'm going to attach the capital letter, which doesn't often happen, but with the G, the B, the D, they can. I will do so. I'll try and do so in Debbie. Let me drop those down. But bear in mind, I've only got half an hour. And I, I, I to please you all, I will. So there's my capital G. Then I will do the R, as we've said, but I'm going to drop that below the line. Thin line up to form the A, which would be on the line. Then that would join up to form the loop of the S down with more pressure off the pressure, on the pressure, off the pressure. I'm having to use the big pen, by the way, just so you can see what's going on. If I was to use the brush pen, uh, the one that I would normally use in day-to-day -day writing, um, It's that size. So I think the bigger, the bigger pen will help um, while you're learning. Now, don't forget, I've been doing this a while. It is, I'm going to make it look easier than it is. You are allowed to swear at me because um, I can't hear you. And I do make it look easier than it is. It's the fluidity. Um, I'm able, because I've done it a long time, I'm able to do one letter flowing into the next one. Whereas what you may find easier to do is um, do a letter, take your pen off, join on to the next letter. Because if you're going to join on, if, if I did, um, let's do Apple. Um I haven't cast it on. Let me cast on there like that. So I'm not sure how to do a letter. So I'll do an A, cast on, cast off. Now I want to do a P. So I will go up, down, pressure, no pressure, pressure, no pressure. So as long as I remember, well, why not right, George? Um, yes, I'll do an S. I'll write apples and I'll do the S on the line. Um, so I've cast it on and I should be able to resume each letter and have a bit of a brain break in between. So if you can't, if you can't be fluid... Hello, Sylvia. Better late than never. You can watch this whenever you want. So if you head to our Facebook page, The Artery Art Job, which you're on now, go to the video section. It will be there and it will be called Brush Pen, Free, free Lesson Brush Pen Letters or something like that. Um, so we'll go into the E. So if you remember, we go across, up, down. Now you want to see an S on the line. Now the reason why the S is never put on the line generally is because it's harder to squish it. But let's have a go. There you go. That's it on the line. But in order for it to be on the line, I've had to slightly make it a bit taller. Um, and the reason why it's harder, um, Liz, um, and you're right, I don't. I often don't like it because it can't look like an F. Excuse the 12 bongs. Um, my Bakelite mantel clock. Um, and it's on time. That's unusual. Um, the reason why the, the S, I think, is often forced below the line is um, because for capital letter S, yeah, that's right, you don't need to join it. Um, I'll show you that in a sec. Um, is that fluidity? 
It might be you because it, it, it's looking like I've still got sound. Let me quickly just double check. It might be you because it might yes, I, that was me listening to me. Um, so the the tricky bit, Liz, is it Liz? Let me see. Yes. The, the reason why it's harder to do the S on the line is because you're having to really control your thick and your thin lines a lot, a lot more condensed. Um, oh, thank you. Um, it can be done, but it's harder. Um, and what did just somebody ask? Yes, your capital S. is not joined. I do like that. So I'll start writing a few of your names now. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, everyone. Um, occasionally, if, the, if if your Wi-Fi's, if there's a bit of a breeze up, your Wi-Fi wafts, um, you might lose sound before image or your image might go distorted. Um, it all seems to be playing fine, my end. Um, the bird song's just here to try and help you relax a little bit. Oscar's going to be a trickier one, I think, because you've got lots of letters. Let me add that to my list, and then I'm going to go through and do um, all the ones that everybody's asking to do. You know what? I'm going to switch the switch pen colours. Okay, I'm going to. I've I've swapped to this one, Judy, just for you. Um, Although that's a bit of a cherished colour, isn't it? So let's do the capital C. Hardly any pressure as we come round. Want to add more pressure and cast off. Then for lowercase, this is all lowercase. We don't join the letters to the capital C. So we'll go thin, thick, thin, Thick, you can loop that below the line. Thin, stop, horizontal, over thick. Then we've got that loopy R. Cast on. Little I, so we don't do a lot with that. Like that. I'll do a I'll do a half on half off cherish. You see, you could loop the R lower if you wanted to to match the um, H. Thick off and then a dot. I will have a look at Atkinson, Caroline, as well. Um, Yes, it, where it's hard is if you've got lots of loops in your name, that's where you'll have to sort of like stop and start and um, do all of that kind of thing. Right, so I'm going to start working my way down my list. Let me do Ruth next. Um, capital R. Cast on. Heavy pressure. Take the pressure off at the end as you swirl back up. More pressure. Take the pressure off as you swirl. Pressure on. Take the pressure off and flick. Now, because I'm a little child of the 80s, I grew up with words and pictures and um, that kind of thing. And there was a magic pencil. And the magic pencil glue in the, uh, glow, glowed in the dark. There was a light at the end of it and it was on a black screen. And it would always do um, top to bottom, down and round and flick and all of that to, to get the letter formations and it's always in my head when I do this. So there's my capital R. So the U for the roof, you can make wonky. So if I cast on thick line, thin line, thick line, a little bit higher. Thick line down, cast on to the next letter, which is the T. And I'm gonna go up quite high, thick, Cast off into the H, thick, thin, thick, 
and flick. Now the T you can do in a few ways. You can do a nice long T going across. You could do a short T or if you wanted it a nice composition where you're not crossing through other letters, you could extend it that way like that. Right, do a few more letters. Cherry, she's lovely. Uh, let's look for Emily. Let's look at Emily. Uh, so the capital E is a little bit tricky because it's not like we'd normally do an E. You know, everybody writes a capital E like that, don't you? But the capital E in this is quite swirly. So it means you're casting on from the opposite side, whirling around to the left, adding pressure, taking the pressure off, adding pressure, taking the pressure off. So it's like a backwards three. I'll do Emily. You could then swirl and, and go on to that, but I don't think that works well. Um, so let's go, cast on, swirl, pressure, take off the pressure, swirl, add pressure, take it off as you swirl. Oh, Emmy's beautiful though. Um, so um, let's do Emily. And then again, don't forget one side of the M is um, higher than the other. So we'll I'll go a bit closer and I'll go a little bit higher. So we'll cast on and thick and thin and thick and thin and lower. M, I, thin, thin, thick, thin. And then it's the same with the Y. You can either make the, this bit lower or this bit higher. I'm going to make it lower. Thick, thin, thick. Take the pressure off, loop round, and double. So that's Emily. Oh, you've got time to practice. Good. Right, now let me see. Um, I'm going to do you, Maria, um, because Maria and Margaret and all of those, um, it, will, it will start the same. So we'll go uh, with the capital M, which is a nice casting on swirl. Thick. Thin, thick, thin a bit lower, down and flick. And then the capital A will cast on. Thick, thin, thick, cast off. I think you're right, Sue. And then the R will go up, across, and thick, cast off. Now that the R can go below the line. Then we go to the I, like that. And you could make that thicker if you wanted to there. Just fill it in. Across for the A, down, thin, thick, flick, dot. Maria. I've just met a girl named Maria And suddenly I found how wonderful the sound to write Thank you for sharing that, you Manchu, but I think I might have to block you But thanks for joining me Right, let's do... We've done Emily, we've done Maria. Right, I'm going to do Zoe because I've got a little bit of a space here. Um, so I'll fit that on. Um, let me just block that. It's nice news, but uh, it's not really the time and the pain. Oh, well, Elizabeth. Yes, I'm. I, I'm. I am actually a singer as well. Um, I go under the name of Bo Norton. Um, if you, uh, 
if you'd like to have a look. Right, let me just... Um, just trying to find that... Uh, the comment unless it's already oh thank you thank you rosemary i was just trying to track it down let me do zoe um so the capital z is the same as the lowercase z I, what are you trying to say sue um yeah i've actually got two cds out i've got a christmas one and another one um they're only five pounds each um if you go to bo norton sings um dot com or bo norton bo norton dot com Ah, uh, well, you see, I wouldn't have sung that one, Maria. Right, Zoe, which is also my niece's name. So we cast on, think of it like a number three. Thick, thin, thick. Take the pressure off as you go around. So the Z, um, I will, I will do that. Zo, take the pressure off. Loop. Now with the E, we're going to go down and round and flick, like that. Try and do that. I think this is it. I hope that's my website. No, shouldn't I? Um, so there's Zoe. Let me turn that page off. Right, I've got 20 minutes to try and do all of the... Hey, that is me. Yes. Oh, that's good. Um, I've got the right link. I am a crooner. Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, all of that. I, I, did, a, I did my first live gig in a year um, to a WI group on Zoom. Uh Thursday evening. It was nice to get back into the singing again. Right, let's do Angela. We've got quite a few A's. We'll, we'll, I really want to try and do them all. So, yeah, I'll see what I can do. But obviously, um, each letter to try and explain is taking about two to three minutes. So I will see. Um, I haven't got any with Jay. A rat pack. And I don't know if I like that. I don't like the. The pluralization of that. It sounds like I'm uh, a rat protesting pound. A rat. <laughs> right, let's have a look at another letter. Um, what have I got on my list? I've got Angela. So the A is quite swirly. Oh, uh, Sainsbury's is more important than me, is it? I've got I've actually got Iceland arriving during my calligraphy class on Tuesday afternoon, so I can't I can't complain. Um you can always catch up with this later, Sarah, so don't worry. Thank you for joining me this morning. Um so the A is swirling, so no pressure for the swirl or the line up. <laughs> That's all right, Sue. <laughs> so it's a thin line up. Thick line down and flick and across. Sorry, Linda, not vegan friendly. Um, and then the A doesn't lean on, so the N cast on, thick, thick loop. Thank you, you two. Have a lovely weekend, Sarah. Like that. Then the lowercase g is a bit like an A with a tail, so you go across. Thick, thin, thick, up. Now, don't forget that E. We stop, go across, loop round with pressure, take the pressure off. Thin, thick, thin, thick, thick flip. Angela. So Alfie and Amelia will all be the same. Let me see if I can fit them all onto the one. I forgot to go thick then. Oh. There's that F that we all had problems with. Right, 
and up there's your coffee. I've had to go a bit smaller so I can try and fit them all on. Um, let me do it like an Arte angle. Amelia. So the A is the same. Again with the M, you want to go in thick, in thick, go lower if you want. That E, you stop, go across a prawn ring. Lots of beige food. Sort of like that. You've, you've got the option where you can spread your letters out or condense them and it will look like a totally different um, way of working. Now, Joy and Julia, you want to know how to do a J, don't you? So let's do that. So let's do Julia. And it's a nice loopy one. But again, no pressure to start with as you do that round. So you, you do your loop around, no pressure. You come down with the pressure loop around to the left and off. Now you can use that to join on to the U. Like that. Sometimes just seeing it written makes it um, more easy to follow the joy would be the same oh thank you judy thank you very much um i hope to join you soon uh, i hope you'll see us again soon our next free class is actually the 17th of april and it's um a cottage with a wildflower field in watercolor in on the 17th of april but if you want to check out all about and um, we've got a free demo Sixth of February, pen techniques for buildings, and the next calligraphy class, the five pound one, is Carolingian on the thirteenth of February. If you want to sign up for that, so let's let's work our way through. Let's do. Oh, I'm going to do Diana next. I will write rainbow as well. Absolutely. Um, so Diana, the D for that is you cast on thin, go thick. Take the pressure off. Go all the way up to the top. Down with the pressure and loop. Hi, Heidi. Thank you very much. That'd be lovely. Um, the lowercase j, um, sort of. You don't need that loop in a lowercase j. So a lowercase j. Let me grab. Let me grab this sheet again. So a lowercase j is like that. So you haven't got that loop. Thin, thick, flick. So Diana, that's what I'll do. I'll try Diana, so we'll go in. You could possibly join the, the loop of the D to the I. It's up to you. Thin, thick. Thick, thin, thick, thin, there, thick for the end, down, loop, kind of like that for Diana. Um, I have got another G that I could do just to help you. So there's Debbie, um, cast on, thick, thin, thick. Loop. Um, you could actually. You, you, there's a few ways you could do it. I, I, I will show you. Um, there's that a loop thick loop. Um, what what you can do is um, if you have the, the pale grey one of these, um, you can get pale grey in quite a few brush pens. You can just do exactly the same letter over the top of it and um, it will give you a grey shadow. So 
So that would work really well. Um, or what I've also done before now is I've used contrasting colours, um, like with the um, with the um, Lyra pen where you've got a brush pen one end and the liner pen the next side you could add a shadow with a little bit of a gap kind of like that So you could do almost like fairground lettering. Um, at Christmas time, I'll often do red and green and um, or pink and teal or something like that, or two different shades of blue. Right, I'm working my way through the names. Um, Oscar. It is a trickier one. Start off thick, pressure off, loop round. So you don't want any pressure on that side. And then you're automatically down at the base. Um, but I don't think I'll join the S. I'll almost join the S. Thin line. Cross. Heavy, thin line for the A, like that. Now, if you wanted that C to feel a little bit more um, like a letter, a proper letter, you could just extend the C shape. That's Oscar. Right, I've still got about six or seven names, so I'll try and do as many as I can. Let's try Persia, because I know somebody asked me to do Persia. But the queue is beautiful. It's like a heart, isn't it? And rainbow. Yeah, I'll, I'll see what I could do. I'll try. I've only got like seven minutes. Um, and I'll try and do as many as I can. Um, so with the P, cast on, thick, thin, thick, flick. E, that E where we go up and stop, thin R, now the S next to it is sort of um, flick round, up, down, up, down, up, flick, something like that. I'll try and do an R again for you. Um, yeah, I haven't got another name with an R. Let me just do an R here. Um, the R and the P are the same, actually. So you start off with your cast on, go thick, take it off, go up, thick, twirl, and then you go down with the pressure and across. So it's a bit like a P with an extra leg. I think I'll keep it Lucy on this, this line. So let's do a Lucy. It's a long cast on, loop down with pressure, pressure off again as you loop across and go around. Thick and thin, it is all about pressure and that's the thing that people struggle with, understandably. I'll see if I can do a Sharon and a Suzanne as well. Um, so that's Lucy off my list. Um, yep, 
Yes, same same colour won't work as well. So basically, you want to try and, and find a different colour. Or you could use any sort of pen, any sort of, any sort of thin felt tip pen would work as a sort of shadow line. Um, it doesn't have to be a brush pen. Oh, good. Oh, yes, I've got that Vizsla. I've got Zoltan to do, haven't I? Um, as well. I've got loads. Let me try and do them all. Let me try and do them all. Um, right, so we've got Suzanne. like that. And oh good, I'm glad. I'm glad you're delighted, Berger. Yes, old tons of Wiesler, I think. Sharon. So, you know, you'll find your own style and you might find there are some letters that you really love to do above and below. So can you see here with, with Sharon, my H is lower, my R and my N is lower and it kind of punctuates that line. Um, Lovely, lovely, lovely. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to do a few more. I've got um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to rush through the eight. Ooh, thank you, Melanie. Um, just so I can try and get all of them done. Uh, Marilyn. So these are all on my list. Just so you can see what they look like. Pressure, no pressure, pressure, no pressure, pressure. Flick. Cast on. Oh. L. Oh, Rona, that's a shame, beginning the, the first letter of your name is now not your favourite. Oh, no. How bad. Let's try Colleen. Oh, it's a pleasure, Lynn. It's a pleasure. That's what we do. We just try to top you up. I mean, obviously, we, we can't sustain our, our business from doing loads of freebies, but um, we do as many as, as we can um, inter interspersed with our, our, our proper job, just to keep everybody's creativity topped up during trying times for us all in very many different ways. Is it double L, Colleen? I'm going to do double L. Apologies if it's not. Good, and you can watch it as many times as you need to. I've got Tiana. Let's do that one, because that's quite a nice letter that I haven't done yet. T. Bit like a J, so that's why it's totally different to, to work out the J. But practice your thin and thick lines because the greater the contrast yes how did you choose your baby name it looked really beautiful um so that's why i did it um right i've got one two three four five to try and do um i'll show you queen as well if i can um who needs lunch hey i'm busy writing
Thank you, Kathy. There's Laura. Elise. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure, Diane. It really is. Right, so with that one, I didn't take the L, the S really below the lane, the line for Elise, just in case. Um, Prissy, Prissy, Ellie and Zoltan and Queen. So let's do Prissy. Priscilla. Apples. <laughs> yes, I, I'm fluent in apples. <laughs> Chrissy, there you go for you. Christy. Um, for left-handed, it all depends how you hold your pen. Basically, as long as most of your downward strokes are thick and your upward strokes are thin, you'll be all right. And it all depends on your pressure. You see, I find it easier as a right-handed person to do um, thin lines going up, heavy pressures going down. You might find it easier the other way. Um, so instead of going up with thin, you might find the thick heavier going up. So just have a play around. Just practice getting thick lines and thin lines now with christy i've got two eyes there so i'm gonna go across that way i could have put the two eyes above the bar of the t but i think that would have been a bit tricky right ellie on here thing to remember with these fiber tip pens is the more you use them the more worn down they will be oh you take care priscilla thank you thank you marilyn thank you wendy try our hardest to, to keep you all entertained i've just got zoltan and queen to do now let's get zoltan in zoltan the pup There's your Zoltan. Oh, I'm I'm really pleased, Rona. It's difficult, isn't it? I think what's really hard when you're reading is it's really hard to um, understand the, the the pressure terms and and uh, and how to do it. I think with calligraphy, you need to see it in action just as much as um, as experience it really and read about it. There you go for the queen. So all that's left to the right is Thank you. Um, it won't be on YouTube, but it will be on here. 
um, join. So once this video has ended, um, if you just go to, thank you, I've just spotted the capital K request, I will add that now. Um, thick loop. So you do this in two ways. So that is one, then you totally take your pen off, then you can do that way. If you um, if you try to do it all in one go, it's a little bit difficult. Um, the, the little black pen I was using is the Uni Pin Brush Pen. That We have got that for sale individually. Um, so yeah, once this, uh, once this lesson has ended, um, within two or three minutes, it will be available on the, um, the shop page under the videos section. Do some more practice. Spend the weekend doing your brush lettering, um, ever for Valentine's Day coming up, maybe. Um, thank you, Mandy. Thank you, everyone. Give it all a go and you can watch this back as many times as you need to. It is there for free. You might find, because we do a demonstration every month um, and we have done for the past four years. We've also got several, I think, six, six free full length lessons as well, um, all on our video section. And we've got some crafty videos and makes for kids on there on this page. Head to the video section and you just spend the next month learning how to do arty things. So thank you so, so much. It's been wonderful to have your company on this nice Saturday morning and the sun's still out, which is beautiful. Hopefully it'll melt the, the snow and the ice. So thank you so much, everybody. Have a wonderful weekend. Take care and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye, everybody.